So round five. Oh, hey guys, probably made an 20 here, and I have round five from Virginia. Currently 2-2, two and two, so I need to win out. And of course, I got paired up with a friend, Walter Morales, who I've played a few times at tournaments before. Um, he was using Kyogre, Landers, Ferrothorn, Raichu, Ho-Oh, and Salamence. Um, hate playing a friend, because either I lose and I get knocked out, or I beat him and I knock him out, which sucks. But um, he leads Ho-Oh, Salamence. Solid lead. Um, I end up leading Weavile Eternius again, because if it ain't broke, why fix it? Um... Pressure activates, Intimidate activates, Fairy Ore activates. The only thing I get confirmed here is that Salamence is max speed. Uh, of course, my Xerneas is max speed, and Salamence is one point faster, and ho is the slowest thing in the field, which is to be expected unless it's Scarf, so, uh, or it's a slow Salamence. So he switches out to Salamence, switches in Ferrothorn, which is a pretty solid play. Um, I go for the Fake Out onto the Ho-Oh, because I did not want to take a Sacred Fire Burn. I get a crit, not that that really matters. And Xerneas takes in the power. Um, so I do get a Geomancy up, but of course I have Ferrothorn on the field, which walls me, and I have, um, and beats me with Gyro Ball, and I have um, ho on the field, which is bulky and resists very tight moves. So really scary moment. Um, so I do protect Xerneas here, and I go for the sack play again, <laughs> hoping that this time he knocks me out. Uh, I do knock off the, the Ferrothorn to get some damage off on it. Uh, takes a little Iron Barbs damage, uh, knocked off the Leftovers, which is always nice. And then Ho-Oh Tailwinds, and I cry because that was the last thing I wanted to see. As he just Gyro Balls smartly into my Weavile, which is fine also with me. Unfortunately here, the issue is I can't just bring the Moongus because Ferrothorn just, you know, Ferrothorn does Ferrothorn things, and I cry every time. Um... It avoids Rage Powder, so I can't just Rage Powder away attacks. Like, this is where it's nice to have a Clefairy or a Togekiss or a Furret or a Pachirisu, something that has Follow Me and not Rage Powder. But I do like Amoongus for its ability to stall Trick Room for me. A Dazzling Gleam, just trying to get as much damage off as possible. Um, do a decent chunk to Ferrothorn. Uh, see the Sacred Fire into my Xerneas. Burns me, which sucks, but that's to be expected. I waterfall into the ho 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 ho, -oh, hoping to knock it out, which I do, which is nice, but to no avail at this point. Um, Rayquaza taking some damage from the life orb. Gyro Ball comes out onto Xerneas. Nice little double target into the. Uh, which is nice. I mean, I knew Xerneas was going down to Gyro Ball, so it was nice that he double targeted because it at least gave me a chance by not damaging or burning um, Rayquaza. Um, so his Kyogre comes in, my Amoogus comes in, and this is where things get bad. Um, because he's got Tailwind up, and there's nothing I can do about that. Like, that's the worst feeling in the world. You know, I'm kind of in the same predicament where I can't, like, Rage Powder away attacks anymore. Um, I protect Rayquaza, I'm just trying to put the Kyogre to sleep, like... That's what I need to do here. Um, he water spouts, which is good to know he has. Does good damage to Amoongus. You know, I mean, not bad, because he gets Amoongus. He leech seeds into Rayquaza, I protect. And I just spore, put it to sleep. So that's fine. That's good news. Um, so it's not completely over. I do know he has Salamence in the back, which hasn't Mega Evolved yet, so he can intimidate me, um, which sucks, because I'm all physical. No Draco Meteor, unfortunately. Uh, my dragon sent into the Ferrothorn, which protected. And I spore again, kind of thinking he might switch in Rayquaza. I'm sorry, switch out Kyogre into Salamence. Um, so I have dragon sent here. Going for the big damage into Ferrothorn. Knock it out because Rayquaza is a beast. And Ferrothorn's bulky, but not that bulky. Um, take some rock, uh, Iron Barb's helmet. Uh, oh, Iron Barb's helmet. Iron Barb's damage. Life Orb damage, get my drops going. Kyogre stays asleep, thank God. So I can at least get a Giga Drain off on it. Um, which is always nice for it to heal some damage. Um, so at this point I'm kind of in trouble because I don't have Draco Meteor. And I'm going to be intimidated. And Salamence is faster than me and probably has Draco Meteor. So I'm a little concerned at this point. Um that I've lost this match. And of course he has Hyper Voice, and I'm at minus one. Like, everything could go wrong, it's going wrong. Um, which really sucks. 
So I protect. Open. I don't really know what I was hoping for. I mean, I, I should have predicted his protect. That made more sense. Um, because he doesn't want to risk getting Draco. That's how he loses. I could have double targeted Kyogre. And then potentially won the match. Um, so once again, Rage Powder comes out. He does have Hyper Voice, which sucks. Um, he goes for the safe double edge, though, which is a good play. Because, I mean, he pretty much only loses this match if Kyogre takes max sleep. And Amoongus double uh, Rayquaza double protects and then puts Salamence to sleep. Like, that's how he loses this match. Um, he takes a lot of damage from Rocky Helmet and Recoil. Dragon Ascent comes out. Um, so I definitely still had a chance at the end there. If I had doubled the Kyogre on the turn that he protected Salamence, I, I probably could have won it. Um, although, like I said, you know, I might have gone for the Protect Spore play and he made the smart double edge play. So he Ice Beams into me. Of course, I'm at minus two at this point. Because uh, of Dragon Ascent. And so I get knocked out and I lose. So at this point, I know I have no chance to cut, unfortunately. Um, but hey, at least Wally won. He ended up going 6 2, so that's good. Um, but stay tuned for round 6.